let's take a few minutes and talk about the neon tetra man what a fish this fish is so important to the hobby it's not even funny uh, there's probably been more neon tetras sold than any other tropical fish out there i mean it's literally the base of the, the whole tropical fish keeping hobby or keeping fish in fish tanks and, and I mean you, you can see why uh, it has the name neon and it's actually true to its name that blue stripe is so bright that you can see it three rooms away and it's one of the first fish that catches the eye of the new fish keeper and there's probably been more neon tetras sold than any other tropical fish out there they are literally that important to us and they're a gorgeous little fish they they don't get very big so you can keep them in almost any aquarium uh, so let's dive in talk about this fish a little more in detail and uh, yeah let's get at it all right let's talk a little bit about keeping this fish if you've seen any of my other species profiles uh, the fish I've done are pretty much bulletproof. They're extremely adaptable fish, and you can keep them in doggone anything. Unfortunately, the neon is not quite a fish like that. It's a hardy fish, but it's not as adaptable as some of the other fish I've done profiles on. If you have a water source that is on the softer side, to neutral you're gonna find this fish a lot easier to keep if you're like me and you have an extremely hard high pH water source this fish isn't going to be as easy to keep it's gonna be a little fragile and more than likely you're gonna have some issues and unfortunately it's true this fish isn't is quite adaptable to hard water as some of the other fish that we have in this hobby and if you do have hard water you can still keep this fish but you're really gonna have to watch your water parameters you're gonna have to keep your water pristine because this this fish in hard water its immune system isn't all that great you're gonna have problems with columnaris and and the, the fish isn't just it's not gonna be as happy if you have a soft water tank say you're out on like the west coast I know Washington they have doggone near RO water you'll have absolutely no problem keeping this fish alright now that I scared a whole bunch of people away from keeping this fish just because you have hard water doesn't mean you can't keep them some of them might even adapt but you you still gotta watch them and uh, like I said they're just not gonna be their happiest uh, you can always cut your water down with mixing in RO water that'll drop the buffering capacity of your water and make it a lot easier on this fish uh, another thing that makes this fish not quite as adaptable is most of them are coming from the wild uh, don't don't freak out I mean there are some captive breeders of neon tetras but uh, the, the neon tetra hasn't adapted itself to the captive breeding facility as well as some other fish have and most of them are still coming out of the wild but it, it's not really a bad thing either um, there are sustainable fisheries in South America where this fish comes from that they are purposely making sure that they're doing a sustainable harvest and if this fish gets taken away from them as a, a, a way to make money then they're gonna turn to other ways to make money and those might even hurt the environment even worse uh, there's a whole thing about the neon tetra if you ever just wanna just google uh, neon tetra sustainability and you'll come up into a whole
All right, I screwed that up. I apologize. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to say that if you Google uh, Neon Tetra Sustainability, you'll, you'll find that they, they are sustainable and there's a whole industry behind it, yada, yada. Anyways, all right, let's talk about the number two thing I see fish keepers do with Neon Tetras. They keep them too warm. For some reason there's this idea that neon tetras need to be warm when in fact they they actually like a little cooler water than what people think they are it's a really common practice for people to keep neons with discus we all know discus like warmer water uh, a lot of people keep them with angelfish and we know angelfish love warmer water this fish likes cooler water uh, about 72 is about perfect for this fish and a lot of people are surprised but really you want to keep this fish a little cooler if at all possible I'm not saying it's going to die on you if you keep them warm uh, but th this fish isn't as uh, warm water fish as what people think they are with a lot of tetras it's recommended to buy a group uh, this fish is no different you know buy 10 of them it, it maybe even buy 20 of them they'll be happier when they see each other uh, the the one thing is is you know sometimes we talk about tetras as a schooling fish and this fish when you first buy it is gonna school pretty tight but once they get used to an average aquarium you know anything four foot and under they're gonna spread out they're not super tight schooling uh, I, I don't know if you even want to call them shoaling they'll inhabit all areas of the tank from open water to getting down into your uh, decor and down into the plants they kind of just go all over and it's kind of nice to have that color you know that that bright contrasting color is what makes these fish so yeah man they're they're a lot of fun one of the things I wanted to talk about before I wrap this up is uh, the Neon Tetra even has a disease named after it, the Neon Tetra disease. I personally have never seen it and I've been in this fish hobby for quite a long time. Um, but there, there are some things that you really should look at before you buy your fish and because these fish are coming from the wild and then they go through several uh, facilities before they finally make it to your pet shop and you buy them is this is an extremely small fish they don't get very they don't get very big so it's kind of hard to see a fish that's got issues and uh, your pet shop's not going to appreciate it very much when you're buying 10 of these and they're not going to appreciate you standing there with your finger on the glass going I want this one and I want that one you know this is a fish where you're just gonna say give me 10 neon tetras and you're gonna get what you get um, I definitely recommend this is definitely a fish just due to the fact that they're so small and you can't really see a fish right off the bat that has issues that quarantining this fish before you put it in your show tank is a must uh, there there are some issues especially if you're in an area that has harder water for the most part is columnaris is really big in neon tetras and a lot of times it'll affect the face area and along the lips if you see anything on the lips of your neon tetra just automatically assume it's columnaris and treat accordingly um, it, it's really important these fish they're hardy fish and they they do really well in the aquarium and they, they can give you years and years of satisfaction with that color but you you not you're not necessarily getting the healthiest fish when you first purchase them and and 
running them through a quarantine tank for a long period of time, probably even longer than uh, what you would do with something else, it is really a good idea. You, you really want to take a look at these things and make sure they're healthy. And All right, sorry about that. I tend to ramble on and that just got ugly. Uh, so we're going to summarize this fish. The Neon Tetra is a great, wonderful, extremely colorful fish to have. If you have softer water, you're going to find this fish a lot easier to keep as opposed to having harder water. This fish doesn't hate hot water, but it, it prefers to be kept in anything from, say, 70 degrees to 75 degrees. Um, when you start getting into the upper 70s and into the 80s, the, the fish will survive, but it's not its preferred temperature range. Um, food, it, it will take any prepared flake food. Uh, I, keep in mind, this is an extremely small fish, so if you have larger blood worms, it's going to have trouble choking them down. But any prepared Commercially available fish food will do just fine with these fish. Um, I do recommend quarantining these fish. 90% of the time your fish are coming out of the wild. You, you really want to to uh, take some time, put this fish by themselves, make sure they're really healthy before you add them to any kind of show tank. Other than that, the, the fish is hardy but not bulletproof. Um, it all depends on your water parameters and your local area. But it's definitely a fish worth keeping. It's definitely a fish worth having. That, that, that color is just remarkable. With that, have fun and I'll see you guys on the next one.